and we'll bring on our next presenter, uh, Lucero uh, Martinez Delgado. So I hope we should be jumping on soon. Hey, hey. how's it going? Um, Hi. All mm -hmm. right, well, uh, I'll just hand it over to you and look forward to it. Okay, right, let me uh, share my screen real quick. Okay. Can you guys see my presentation? Great. Okay, so I am an assistant professor. Um, I was thrilled of listening to everyone's um, way of using LT. Um, I teach undergrad level uh, at the University of the Incarnate Word, and my um, my students are going to be from um, a four-year private institution and all of them are taking um, online asynchronous courses right now because of COVID. This is supposed to be a course um, to be taught face-to-face. Uh, -face. Um, and my students are going to be senior students that are pre-MAD, uh, pre-PA, pre-OT, and pre-PT. So I get uh, the babies. Everybody here is teaching already the, the students in their professional programs. And when I think about my, uh, my students, I think that they believe they are already healthcare providers um, just by enrolling a course that is called uh, pathophysiology or pharmacology. And um, I guess uh, keeping that um, enthusiasm, it's going to be uh, helpful for, for them to reach their goals, especially in hard times like the ones that we, um, that we have right now. So uh, the way I use um, LT, um, I have uh, an intro to pathophysiology course and an intro to pharmacology course. Um, this is how I would um, lay out um, my content. So I create modules and whenever I create the modules, I either um, use some of the parts of the collections, I add my own content as well. And um, I try to make it as interactive because as you can tell, uh, younger and younger generations are going to be very fast at technology. And sometimes um, uh, we have to like keep refreshing um, their, their, their platforms and their use. So what I like about uh, LT is that it allows me to uh, pick and choose from the different collections and then make my own uh, content um, as I need to. So for example, uh, the case, uh, the patient case library, um, I use the case studies here uh, to introduce my students to um, how they need to interrogate a patient, how to take little notes here and there, uh, they're thrilled to see all these videos that, that are in, in these case studies. Um, it's their very first exposure to a patient, even though it's in a video. Um, and they're going to be um, like uh, most likely to continue um, like their fascination about the healthcare uh, career by the use of these early, early in their in their school, so I use those case studies. So, for example, um, I had a fever uh, module that I wanted to introduce, and I used that uh, with Liam and his mother. Hopefully, it's not our Liam right here. Um, and then wait, I can change. Okay, so the other one is that. The other feature is that you can create your own modules from scratch. And I find these very helpful. Um, the material that any publisher can offer is just going to be um, like a standard material, but then you have to, I believe, um, to put your own style into, into your presentations, into your content. So, for example, whenever I was building um, my intro to pharmacology course, there's not too much pharmacology content that the collections have yet. Uh, hopefully that changes and we get to collaborate so we can improve this. 
uh, the ones that I was able to define were too advanced for my students. So I was able to create um, or to um, incorporate some of the content myself. And, and in this right here, it's a little video um, just of how I like drag and drop um, the features of, uh, of LT where you can create titles and you do like headings and stuff like that. And just to show if there are any in the audience that are like brand new to how to build a module, um, this is how I do it. So I start from um, adding pictures and, and everything works uh, very nicely. Now, my students, I've seen that they prefer some, some things versus others. Um, in high enrollment courses, I don't add as many uh, open questions because I would never finish grading, to be honest. Uh, but if I have smaller classes, I do have um, essay type questions, uh, more of the, the critical thinking. Um, students love to use their phone uh, here in the United States, and I believe everywhere. Uh, so all of the questions that require them to whatever, take a picture and then annotate that picture, they're thrilled about that. So sometimes I make them do like drawings um, or explain something and then take a picture of it and upload it. And the response has been uh, very good on those. Um, what I like about LT is that their images are very uh, iconic. It's not like the, the old school anatomy um, book picture that, that you know, it's it. It seems that it was um, a drawing from Da Vinci still. So this is more of a like a contemporary look. Um, and I find it that for my pathophysiology course, um, I can utilize some of the uh, some of the collections and um, give my students a refresher of what we're going to cover. For example, if we are about to talk about the um, lymphatic system, I can use uh, some of the pages from the anatomy collection where it has all this um, interactive tools where you can do drag and drop and they're already there. Um, again, the graphics are, are very nice and um, it allows for that um, automatic grading. So like that, you as an instructor don't feel overwhelmed that you have to look at each page. So I really like that too, where there's things that you can grade open-ended questions, but there's also automatic grading that you don't have to spend your hours um, in here. Um, in the Understand Your Physiology collection, this is the latest collection that I've been using. Um, I like it because there is some pathology there involved. Um, I, I would like it to be more, like I say, this collaboration with um, some of you can, can help us increase this collection. And I really like the, uh, the way that they start putting it together where you talk about the physiology of it, I can add um, anatomy uh, from the other collection and then just put it all together in the, in the pathology. So students can see the progression from how it's supposed to look in a normal uh, architecture, how it's supposed to work, and then what goes wrong. And they can see all that as the module progresses. So this is a very important thing uh, for undergrads because they, they tend to not remember the prerequisite courses. For example, in my course, uh, they're supposed to have taken anatomy and physiology already. Um, and even though they did, they can't recall most of the information. So these type of refreshers are going to be uh, very helpful. And um, this new collection, the, the Understanding of Physiology um, helps in that a lot. I also use the Clinical Skills Collection. Again, my students are free everything. Um, and they get very excited about uh, feeling that they are already taking courses towards a medical career. And whenever I found these videos um, about how a nurse is explaining the patient and what to do and stuff like that, they get to see this. And 
they then we are able to do like role play during our our meetings in Zoom. So one person can act like the nurse, one person can act like the patient. And obviously it would be a little more engaging if we were in the classroom, but due to the current circumstances, uh, we have to adapt. And I like that part where they can see it and then they can like try to mimic um, those clinical skills. And just to summarize, um, I think that this platform is very easy to navigate for students. It's easy to build for us. Um, uh, there is an integration of the um, LMS with your institution. The collections are really nice, but you can add to them or delete from them depending on the scope of your course and depending on um, how many blogs or modules you want to do. Um, it's very uh, user-friendly to, to deliver uh, to students. Um, I like the graphics a lot. This was uh, one of the, the biggest things for me. Um, I'm a very visual person and I color code a lot of stuff and I try to do um, things so that students can remember an image and then probably recall a concept just by, by doing that. Um, I like the way that is set up where you don't have to be in the classroom or in the lab, that you can do things remotely. Um, in, this, in this institution, so I've used LT in a previous institution um, with the University of Texas at San Antonio. And over there, I had the power lab and the labs where like, you know, using student data and stuff like that. In this new institution that I moved to, um, they don't have the power lab, but I can still use the LT. So I really like that um, flexibility that if later on I am able to acquire and get funding for uh, power lab equipment, um, I can incorporate it, but I can still use it if I don't have it. So I really, I really like that. Um, the easy grading um, with high enrollment courses, I can have uh, sometimes even 200 students in one course um, in the higher enrollment ones in the uh, smaller settings will be 24 students. So um, you do have to think about how to grade and how to make it um, interesting enough, but also critical thinking enough that even whenever you use multiple choice questions, students know what they're doing and they're thinking about this. Um, I just wanted to like close with um, the collaboration inter interests that I have. Um, pathology, patient assessment, medical terminology, anything for the health professions would be um, something that I'll be interested in collaborating. And thank you for your time. And if you have any questions. Um, Yes, for that, Sarah. Uh, and I did actually notice um, on the topic of collaborations, there was a couple of messages coming through on the chat that yeah, there seems to be a bit of an appetite for that. So yeah, there should hopefully be some people reaching out to. Um, and I'm more than happy to be uh, facilitating um, that as well, if I can. Uh, we do have one question that's coming from Ricky. Uh, so for you and also the other LT users, uh, how aware are you are your students that you have authored these lessons? Um, she has, Ricky has students, uh, oh, sorry, I had student assuming that my self-authored lessons were bought in. Uh, they were surprised and pleased to hear that we had written the lessons ourselves for them specifically. I think knowing that changes their experience slightly. Well, um, when I started building my own lessons, you can tell when one page was not mine, like when was mine and one was pre-made by LT uh, because I was not that good at the formatting yet. So they could see that. Um, you can always bring, uh, yeah, like your local uh, things. So if you're talking about a patient, you can, I don't know, mention something about your school or your community. Uh, so like that, they, they know that it's about them and it's not like a, a, a situation that happens somewhere else. Um, in some of the videos, uh, some of the patients have uh, accents that we don't have here. And uh, I, I try to explain to them where patients, it's sometimes it's hard for uh, 
for like platforms to find patients willing to talk about their diseases and how this is important. So I believe that uh, just coming uh, genuine to them and transparent about how the platform works um, would be your best bet. Um, I always tell them that even though they see my name, that I don't get any uh, any credit or any royalties or anything like that. And um, they're, they have been pleased so far. So um, I'm intending to keep using the platform and um, hopefully we can all together make it grow. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> Sorry. Um, and actually on that note, you started to slightly answer it. Uh, Tony asks, uh, first of all, says really enjoyed your talk um, and asks, what is the student reaction to LT? Well, at the beginning, uh, they just want to know if they have to buy a textbook plus the, the access code. Pretty much it comes to financials. Um, in my course, um, I had made a uh, PowerPoint presentation. So we were um, basing off of, like a textbook, but it was an uh, open uh, resources. So it was um, free of charge for them. And then I asked them to get this uh, course uh, access or access code for this one. Um, I think students will be okay with spending the money if you use it the whole semester, because I've, I've had always comments of, well, you students, or, I mean, professors makes us buy all these books. And then at the end of the day, we just use the book once a month or something like that. Um, I make them use LT every single week. So this is, I, I have my assignments due weekly and they've responded very good because they can use their tablet, they can use a computer, their phones to answer uh, some of these homeworks. And um, um, if there's glitches or something like that, there's always uh, support that can help us right away. I haven't had uh, a specific complaint about the, the use of LT so far hopefully good. things like that <laughs> things crossed um yeah cheers so that's it for the questions um and just want to thank you again for awesome talk